The NAACP here in Houston is condemning Houston City Council Member Michael Kubosh over comments he made outside a restaurant that restarted its dine-in service. Council Member Kubosh made a reference to civil rights icon Rosa Parks, which led to the complaint. Channel 2's Brandon Walker is joining us live in the third ward with the latest on this. Brandon? Hey Christine, James Douglas, the president of the Houston chapter of the NAACP, says that he doesn't think that there is any malice behind Council Member Kubash's comments, but he says that they speak to a lack of understanding or an apparent lack of understanding. He says because what Rosa Parks means for the black community and her significance in challenging years of racial injustice, he says, just doesn't compare to the economic plight of restaurateurs and this ongoing debate in Harris County over which business is considered essential and which is not. Friday night in Hedwig Village, customers with reservations dined inside Federal American Grill of the Katy Freeway. Trying to get people back to work in a, the safest manner possible. That's owner Matt Bryce speaking Friday with Channel 2. Bryce reopened his dining room despite the countywide order to serve customers solely by way of to-go orders. One of his customers, Houston City Councilor at Large, Michael Kubash, who addressed reporters. Sometimes civil disobedience is required to move things forward. And so that's why we remember Rosa Parks. That comment, some eight seconds total, struck a nerve. I was blown away because I couldn't understand how anyone could make that comparison. James Douglas is president of the NAACP Houston branch. Kubosh referenced the late Rosa Parks, whose defiance on board a bus in Montgomery, Alabama, sparked what we now know as the civil rights movement. The rule now with social isolation is to protect all of us. And so it's not a matter of discrimination. I don't even know how you make that comparison. Racially insensitive, argues Douglas, which is why he penned this three-page statement asking Councilman Kubosh to apologize while explaining why he feels there's no comparison. Rosa Parks' refusal to stand is a very important historical event in the history of African Americans in the United States. Yeah, another difference Mr. Douglas points out is the fact that Rosa Parks was arrested, as everyone knows. He says, though, that he wants to see this as a learning opportunity and just wants a conversation about those differences in the understanding. And he also says that he wants Councilman Kubash to be a part of that conversation. We also wanted Mr. Kubash to be a part of our conversation today. We did speak to him this morning, but since then we have not been able to get a comment from him on what he thinks about this. If we hear from him when we hear from him, we'll be sure to let you know about it. Now we're live tonight in Third Ward. I'm Brandon Walker, KPRC Channel 2 News. Brandon, thank you.